Human interference. In the previous class, we have discussed some problems on the same concepts. So we shall discuss some more problems on the same concepts. Okay. So see, here. there are 200 individuals with a skin disorder. Okay. So there are 200 individuals with a skin disorder, and then 120 have been exposed to the chemical C1. So out of 200, 120 have been exposed to the chemical C1. And 50 to the chemical C2. That means 50 students exposed to the 50 individuals exposed to the chemical C2. And 30 to both the chemical C1 and C2. Okay, so this is the given data. So by using given data, so we need to find the number of individuals exposed to the chemical C1 but not chemical C2. So number of individuals exposed to the chemical C1 but not chemical C2. And second one is the number of individuals exposed to chemical C2 but not C1. And the number of individuals exposed to C1 or chemical C2. Okay. So that is, so write down the given data. The first one is the number of individuals with a skin disorder. It is taken as universal set. Because this is the biggest set for all these subsets. Okay, so therefore, we are taking that as universal set is n of u is equal to 200. n of u is equal to 200. Okay. So next one is number of individual exposed to C1. Number of individual exposed to chemical C1. So, we write mathematical equation of this one is n of C1. That is n of C1 which is equal to 120. 120 had been exposed to chemical C1, it is taken as N of C1. And the number of individuals exposed to chemical C2 is taken as N of C2. N of C2. How many individuals exposed to the chemical C2? So that is 50. Okay, 50 exposed to the chemical C2. And the number of individuals exposed to both C1 and C2, that is 30, it is taken as N of C1 intersection N of C2, that is 30. Okay, so next, the first question, the first question, so first question, the number of individual, number of individual, the number of individual exposed to, exposed to, exposed to chemical C1, C1, but not, but not C2, but not C2. So it is definitely taken as N of C1 minus C2. N of C1 minus C2. So already know that the difference of sex, like A and B are two sets, then the difference of A and B is denoted as A minus B. So it means A minus B is a set consisting the elements which belongs to set A, not belongs to set B. So that is the elements which belongs to C1 but not C2. Element which belongs to C1 but not C2. So it is taken as N of C1 minus C2. So that is so that is what do we have formula? We have formula for n of c1 minus c2. So that is n of c1 minus n of c1 intersection c2. n of c1 intersection c2. So n of c1 is the but 120. 120 minus n of c1 intersection c2. That is number of individual exposed to both c1 and c2 is 30. So which is equal to so 90. Okay, that means the number of individuals exposed to C1 but not C2, so that is equal to 90. Okay, so first write on this. C1. So, which is equal to, we have formula, n of C2 minus C1 is 
nothing but n of c2 n of c2 c2 minus 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 n of c1 into c2 so this is nothing but n of c2 is equal to how much n of c2 number of individuals exposed to chemical c2 that is 50 that is 50 minus the number of individuals exposed to both c1 and c2 is nothing but 30 30 so which is equal to which is equal to 20 that means the number of individuals exposed to c1 but not c2 that is equal to 20 at all Is it clear? So next one is chemical C1 or chemical C2. Chemical C1 or chemical C2. So number of individual exposed to number of individual exposed to exposed to chemical 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 C1 or chemical chemical C2. So it is taken as chemical C1 or C2 that means the element which belongs to C1 or element which belongs to C2 already you know that intersection is nothing but the elements which belongs to both A and B ok so union is nothing but the element which belongs to either A or B is nothing but C1 or C2 so that is taken as N of C1 C1 union n of union c2 c2 so that means element which belongs to either c1 or c2 either c1 or c2 or both okay so we have formula for this one so which is equal to which is equal to n of c1 n of c1 plus n of c2 minus n of c1 intersection c2 Okay, n of a minus b, n of a union b, n of a union b is the product, n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Similarly, n of c1 union c2 is nothing but n of c1, n of c1 plus n of c2 minus n of c1 intersection c2. So that is the demand. n of c1 is the product, it is 120, 120 plus n of c2 is the product, 50, 50 minus of c1 intersection c2 is the product. 30, 30. So, okay, so that is 120 and 50. That is 170. 170 minus 30. So, this is nothing but, this is nothing but 140. Okay, 140. So, 140 is the number of individuals exposed to chemical C1 or chemical C2. Okay, right on.
Okay, so this is very important. At least one of these two are made. Suppose element which belongs to at least any one of the set means what? Okay, so element C A. Elements, elements which belongs to, which belongs to, which belongs to, which belongs to at least, at least one of the, one of the, one of, one of the same. Okay. Suppose, some, suppose this is one, the one of the element which belongs to at least any one of the set means. Suppose we have two sets A and B, A and B. The element, the one which may belong to set A or which may belong to set B, that means at least any one of the set, at least any one of the set. Either the element one which belongs to set, either the element the one which belongs to set B, or it belongs to both. Okay, so that means if it is mathematically, it is mathematically so A union B, A union. Okay, A union B is not an element which, which belongs to at least any one of the set. At least any one of the set. Okay. So, so given that solution, so given, so given, okay. So, 50 people speak French. Number of people, number of, number of people speak French. Okay, so that is N of, suppose we have taken French language as yes, that is N of F is equal to, N of F is equal to 50. Okay, so I want to speak Spanish, that means the number of, number of people, people speak, speak Spanish, Spanish. So, just say that N of, C N of N of S Spanish is taken as N of S so that is 20 20 and 10 speak both Spanish and French so that is number of number of people number of people speak both both French French and Spanish so that is taken as so n of f in the section yes that means number of people speak both French and Spanish so which which is given that is said okay. so we need to find how many speaks at least one of these two languages that means number of people number of people speak speak at least at least one of one of these two languages. These two languages is the remark is the remark n of f union yes f union is this whatever. At least one of these two languages. At least you speak French or Spanish. Okay. So we have formula. So n of we know that. We know that okay. n of f union s is the by So n of f, n of f plus n of s minus n of f intersection s. So this is the divide. Okay. n of f is the divide how many people? That is 50 plus n of s is the divide 20 minus. So that is 10. That is 10. So which is equal to 70. Minus 10 is what? 60. Is 60. That means so number of people speak at least one of these two languages. That is 60. 